Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. We have the beautiful little lioness herself, Miss Stella, is here coming to join the reading for Leo. So let's see, we've got priorities as a message coming out for you. <laughs> so this is the week where you might actually have to look at your priorities. You might be needing to prioritize your time or a person or a situation, but something from the universe this week is asking you to really focus on it and make some space for it. So that's what's coming through with priorities. And I actually feel like this is a really positive energy to come through. So let's see what themes are coming in for the week. What situation is coming in for the week? Wow. Okay. We've got the moon, imagination and perception. Beautiful. The three of crystals, collaboration and productivity. So you might be working on some really creative things this week. It could be a project that you're working with other people on. It could be a very productive energy, working with other people, getting curious about their perception, what's going on inside their mind, how they see the world. And also it could be, you know, a lot of fun and imagination and creativity coming out of this as well, which is really lovely. So I feel like this idea of bouncing, intuitively bouncing off other people and this energy exchange that comes with that is going to be a really productive energy for you this week. We've also got Seven of Crystal options and results and this opens the door up for lots of different choices to be made and looking at some new options that could bring some really positive results to come through so that's a fantastic energy to come through for you Leo let's see what's shifting and changing what energies are shifting that this week Stella can hear the birds outside <laughs> she can hear the birds flying over okay so what's shifting for Leo this week my goodness. Okay, that one just landed at your feet. Something might land at your feet this week, Leo. Some sort of uh, good news or some sort of positive shift and change because we've got Cup 5 Pluto Scorpio. This is something that previously made you unhappy, is about to shift and change into something positive. So yeah, this is a really good energy to come through. And if something feels like it was going backwards, like there was some kind of loss or something like that, I feel like this is an opportunity to turn that around, which is really fantastic fantastic. So what does the universe think that you need this week? I'm going to pull one of these cards. What does Leo need this week? Let's see what's coming through. What does Leo need this week? Okay, this is a message. Oh, we've got lots of messages here, so we'll, we'll have a look at them. We've got Look at this beautiful eye. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Beautiful. And that's what I feel like it's part of this or letting go of something that's made you unhappy and kind of getting into this sense of looking at the world or situation through other people's eyes is going to be quite a fascinating, if not illuminating and healing process that comes through with that, which is really lovely. We've got, you've got two, like, three owls that are coming in look at those two little owls snuggling up and this beautiful owl so i think that you're connecting in with a lot of your inner wisdom as well this week leo and just kind of moving forward intuitively with that into a state of where things are you're going to be able to make energies work where they previously haven't or felt stuck which is good it says when i lean on the faith of the universe peace becomes real so this is where you've kind of just got to trust that the universe has got your back with something that's coming through with this. We've got energy flows where my intention goes. So it's it's a really positive time to set some positive manifestations in terms of intentions. What is it that you want to bring in? Because this is saying that you can manifest some great things this week with setting a really, really strong intention. Again, we bring it back to priorities. You know, what is it that you're prioritizing and focusing on? We've got, I always trust the direction of the universe and no one being guided. Again, that energy of just trusting that you're being guided, even if you're coming up against roadblocks or things that have kind of, I, I'm sensing with this energy, there's a lot of Mars squaring the sun energy around at this moment. And this is where there could have been a lot of frustrations where there's lots of things that you want to be doing. You might be challenged to do it and then maybe there's not enough time or you can't do it right now or there's something around that. So it's just, or maybe you have to redo something. So it's about just trusting that the universe, uh, if something doesn't get off to a good start or just a, seems like a false start, trust that you're kind of being led in the right direction. Perhaps you're being, you're incorporating some sort of new energy that's going to make it better or revising and reworking it. We've got attack, pain, fear, judgment and separation are merely 
Oh, sorry. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. Okay. This is interesting because of the fact that Mars is squaring the sun, as I mentioned, because Mars, as a transit, transiting Mars can bring this energy of separation, of wanting to separate or bring energies apart. So it may be that there's something like that. There's a separation of sorts occurring in your world at this moment in time that something or someone needs your help. <laughs> you may be called into using your beautiful wisdom here and, and uh, yeah, being able to see it through somebody else's point of view and to be able to kind of work through some things, which feels really fantastic. Speaking of work, we've got what's coming towards you. We've got work, working on some stuff here. Uh, and this could be, you know, this could be something new and really productive that comes in related to your work and your career. So that's a really fantastic thing. But, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is quite literally work. So let's see the consequences of this. You, there's something very that you're prioritising, the universe is asking you to work on. It feels like it's something good that involves another person as well and it feels... Yeah, like something you're going to want to put uh, throw your energy into as well. So consequences of that, <laughs> the devil energy, you might be just be careful about working too hard is all I would say. But you really, uh, this could be a really bonding experience with somebody this week or with some energies this week. It could be something that you're working through a whole heap of fear blocks. You're working through energies that have been like just in general blocking you. And so yeah, I mean, I just feel like you're working on a lot of things that uh, you're able to kind of overcome. It's a really, really positive energy to come through. So let's see what blessings are coming in. And I want to get my other deck for this. Blessings coming in for Leo this week. What blessings are coming through for Leo this week? What blessings are coming in for Leo? And just a reminder, Leo, that this is a general reading. So just always checking in with your intuition about what's feeling right for you. At any time, you might get your own messages. Ooh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We like this. So something really solid and secure comes in. Could be some good conversations with family or somebody that about what it is that you're building and creating in terms of, uh, you know, you could be looking at things like legacy, achievements, there's some big things that come in with the security of this Ten of Pentacles that so feels like there's some kind of achievement that could be coming through. Something really secure lands with this energy where it feels like perhaps where you land and get to with these people or energies that you're working with, you're like, okay, I feel like I've really overcome a lot, which is really fantastic. So what do you have the potential to manifest this week? Let's see, potential manifestation. <laughs> Too many cards here, Leo, but I'm going to pull a fairy energy. Oh, Tobira of the Waters. Okay, beautiful. This is a sense of being able to go quite deep with some inner reflection, to be able to see something clearly now that especially on a deeper intuitive level that you hadn't seen before and it's allowing some energies between you and somebody else or between you and say an energy that had been blocked to flow which is really nice so it's this sense of some beautiful things being mirrored back to you and really been able to like what's being reflected back to you uh, this week which is actually really beautiful so let's see the best way to work with this energy Let's see what animal spirit energy is coming in for Leo this week. Animal spirit energy for Leo. What is coming in for Leo this week? We have Beaver. Okay, this is the happy little family master builder guy. <laughs> He's like, yep, I build my damn walls. I build these uh, structures in my life and it's very creative. He's like the architect of the an animal world. So Again, it's this sense of where have you blocked something up, some sort of emotional connection here that's been blocked up by a damn wall which has now been allowed to flow again. And where can you build new structures that can be working better between you and this other person or you and this other energy that had felt blocked? And so the beaver energy is don't be afraid to do it again, to try again, to rebuild something in your life where it felt like it, you know, it wasn't working for whatever reason. So and it can be very 
creative, very constructive. It can be looking at, yeah, your structures in your world. Maybe you're looking at time, effort, energy that you're putting into things, but really positive. You know, the beaver is like a real worker. <laughs> and just like this eight of pentacles, something that you're working on this week is going to have some really positive results and positive outcomes. And it's because you're doing this. So it's going to feel this, bring this sense of confidence that comes with it, which is fantastic. So let's look at potential outcomes for the week for Leo. We've got lovely, beautiful hope and readjustment, the five of shells and page of shells, intuition and inspiration. I love it. So this is a really beautiful week of connecting in with your intuition, getting really inspired. Here comes Miss Stelly again. So things are coming in, things are coming out, energy starting to flow. And yeah, this five of shells, a few little readjustments to some things can bring reinstall hope, which is a fantastic energy to come through. So I feel like it's just a nice energy of things flowing flowing uh, where previously there'd been blockages and then I think this is going to be really good news and get some really positive results coming in so it kind of feels like you're you've got this uh this power <laughs> to change the outcome of some things at this moment in time but it's through these energy exchanges that that you're deal that you're working with as well so get yourself comfortable because Stella's just gone right I'm just going to sit and relax now might have been something that was kind of what bothering you or worrying you and it's just like ah oh, there might be a sense of being able to just really let go of any kind of stress and tension and feel like this is a lovely blessing that's come in for the week so we've got I love and approve of myself this is your affirmation card I appreciate all that I do that's good because you've done some amazing things this week I'm good enough just as I am perfect I speak up for myself I ask for what I want I claim my power wow so that is a really, really beautiful energy that I feel like this energy, again, of something being reflected back to you through this beautiful flow of energy between you and something else. This could be a pair, it could be creative energy, it could be something to do with work or a project you're working on, or it could be other people, it could just be your connection to nature and the universe your inner child, it could be anything, whatever this lovely flow that is coming back, it's sending you a mirrored image coming back, which uh, is something beautiful is being reflected back to you, which helps you uh, love yourself a little bit more, it wants you to love yourself and see what, see, uh, you know, really like what you see. So yeah, that's your energy for the week, Leo. So I think you're going to be feeling a lot more comfortable with something or someone or a situation by the end of the week. And it's going to feel like, you know, perhaps blessings and prayers are being answered here. But it's because of the work that you're doing and putting in and what you're manifesting and looking at things through the lens of other people and and having a lot of faith in the universe. But again, just to finalise, comes back to prioritizing and setting some really positive intentions. So that is your week, Leo. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. If you're interested, I do have a variety of services available. The link for that will be in the description box below. And take care, Leo.